Good morning, folks. Today I want to talk about the common complications of multiple myeloma. They include hypercalcemia, renal insufficiency, infection, skeletal lesions, and anemia. And there are also less common complications, which include venous thromboembolism and the hyperviscosity syndrome, hypercalcemia. So patients with hypercalcemia, they may be symptomatic or they may present with anorexia, nausea, vomiting, polyuria, polydipsia, constipation, weakness, confusion, or stopar. Now let me talk about the treatment of hypercalcemia. It depends on calcium level and the rapidity with which it developed. And the patient's overall symptoms. First of all, if it is an emergency, start with the hydration, glucocorticoids and bisphosphonates. And you can also think about dialysis. So hypercalcemia need to be treated. Many people with multiple myeloma will have it. Then there is renal insufficiency. All patients with multiple myeloma, they should take the measures to minimize renal damage, especially when they are taking medications like nephrotoxins, like uh, aminoglycosides, NZs. They need to take a control of those medications and they also should maintain adequate hydration. Many medications used for myeloma, they require dose adjustment for renal insufficiency, especially chemotherapeutic agents like lenalidomide and jolidronic acid. So when the renal insufficiency is detected, you should first try to treat the underlying cause. Then there is infection. These patients are highly prone to infection. Prophylactic measures that may minimize infection in patients with myeloma include yearly influenza vaccines. They should get yearly influenza vaccine, pneumococcal vaccines at the time of diagnosis. And if they are in the first months when you're starting the chemotherapy, you need to give them prophylactic antibiotics and intravenous immunoglobulins when there is a uh, when there is the risk of serious infections. So whenever there is uh, these infections, start antibiotics, especially covering encapsulated bacteria and gram-negative organisms. And people with the skeletal lesions, physical activity should be encouraged in order to maintain that bone density. But you need to give them pain control because the, these skeletal lesions are very, very painful. And patients with one or more lesions and skeletal radiograph should be taken. And if you see osteopenia and start them on bisphosphonate therapy to prevent skeletal events. So pathological fractures are impending fractures of lung bones. If you suspect these uh, fractures stabilize with intramedullary rods and the other painful thing is vertebral fractures these fractures need kyphoplasty or vertebroplasty and the pain that comes with these lytic lesions so when they are, have this severe pain you need to focus on giving them adequate analgesia and the spinal cord compression sometimes happens and the spinal cord compression happens because of the vertebral fracture that should be treated like a, a medical emergency. And patients with severe back pain and lower extremity pains, bladder or bowel dysfunctions and incontinence, when, the, when they're present with these symptoms, you should always think about is any spinal cord compression happening in these patients. And then there is the anemia. And people with uh, consistently low hemoglobin, you need to think about giving them blood transfusions. Because if the hemoglobin goes down and down, they become weaker and weaker. So always treat the anemia to give them, to, give it, uh, uh, to increase their hemoglobin level. 
patients with significant symptoms, they should be considered for red blood cell transfusion. Erythropoiesis stimulating agents are generally uh, reserved for patients receiving chemotherapy with a hemoglobin less than 10 grams per deciliters. Then some of these patients develop neuropathy. Patients with multiple myeloma can develop peripheral neuropathy related to the disease. And sometimes it can also happen as a toxicity of chemotherapy. So when it occurs, the painful sensory neuropathy can interfere with the quality of life and with the performance of activities of daily living. And uh, at that point, you need to give them something like uh, gabapentin or Lyrica to control that peripheral chemotherapy. So I saw, I mean, my dad is suffering from multiple myeloma and I saw all these symptoms in him hypercalcemia, renal damage, and uh, uh, vertebral fractures, spinal cord compression, anemia, infection, peripheral neuropathy. I saw every one of these symptoms in my dad. And I treated them, at least I advised him from his uh, uh, oncologist to get those treatments hypercalcium go for hydration if you are infection prophylactic antibiotics if you have anemia blood transfusion or erythropoietin stimulating factors if you have peripheral neuropathy some gabapentin or lyrica if you have a neurotoxicity what is the problem in the spinal cord so those are the things that would help I mean they help a lot because multiple myeloma its manifestations uh, they devastate the life of the person and you need to focus on these symptoms and you should uh, help these patients to have a better quality of life as the disease progresses. Hopefully those things help you. Thank you very much.